When using different representations for number, you can use any different equipment that you like. Uh, it, you may have the maths equipment at home, but if you don't, then you can use anything, toy cars, whatever your child likes engaging with, you can use in your own way. Uh, this is how we do it at school. So, for example, if you've got the calculation uh, 12 add 3, the child will first count out 12, either in twos if they're confident or counting in ones uh, if, they, uh, if they can't. Count to 12 and then they are counting on 3. Now, for some children who are more confident, they will go 12 be able to start at 12 and then count on 13, 14, 15. Um, however, if your child isn't confident with that, then start at 12, count three in a separate pile, move them together so they can physically see that they are now one total, and then go from the beginning and count from one up to your new total. Uh, we also use base 10 in school, which looks at the concept of a number being represented with tens and ones. So if we take the same calculation, there you've got 12, and then I'm going to add in another 3, encouraging the child to keep them arranged in tens and ones in separate piles, so they can now see that they've got one ten and five ones. We also have bead strings in school, so starting counting on 12 and then again adding our three beads along to now count our 15. Uh, a lot of parents will have heard we use Numicon in school. Our children know their Numicon all the way from nursery. Uh, so if you take 12 and 3 again, the child will find 12 by finding the correct Numicon and then we'll place another 3. Uh, we might encourage the child to layer them so they can see that they have a 10 and then they have 5 in the next layer of 10s. And then for a child to represent this a different way or start to become more confident with not having to use concrete equipment, we might encourage them to use pictorial using a 10s frame. Uh, this is exactly the same as using a base um, a 10 on the Numicon. Uh, but rather we draw it uh, and then you can use anything you like. So if your child is a particularly big fan of something like Skittles, for example, they can practice counting out their 12 using a tens frame and then adding on another three like that. And all that will do is similar to the base 10, it allows a child to see the layout of there's a 10 and then a 5 and working out that that's 15 a bit quicker than counting from 1 all the way to 15.